Hello once again, I'm John Shannon. We have a lesson taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 27. And the title of this lesson, How Do You Make Important Decisions by Facts or Feelings? Please stay tuned. Just in case you can't see this from the back, I want you to turn to the book of Genesis, chapter... 27. Let me stop here a moment. Thank you for being here in the morning worship. Thank you for being here. And we hope that you will listen attentively uh, at the word being preached this morning. Amen. Our subject is in the um, form of a question. How do you, why do you, make important decisions? How do you do it? By facts or by feelings? We got the election coming up in November, and I don't like to deal with politics, but many times individuals vote not on facts, but the way they feel about a person. Uh, there's some folks that's going to get married this week or get engaged. They're going to go buy a car or a house. Or whatever you name, they're going to go to buy it. They're going to buy it by facts or feelings. Let me just tell you from the beginning, anything you do in life, you need to get the facts first. Don't make silly decisions on the way you feel. Now, uh, are you listening? Now, in our lesson... Today, we're going to give the interpretation of the text. But let me just bring you up. There are 46 verses in this particular chapter. And we time won't permit us to go into detail with each verse. Each verse. But we have an outline if you will listen. And at your leisure, if you would just Read Genesis chapter 25 through chapter 27. It's interesting. We have the account of Isaac, who was Abraham's son of promise. You know, Abraham had two sons. The first one, Ishmael, by Hagar. Then the promised seed was Isaac to Sarah. Got it. Well, Isaac had two boys, Esau and Jacob. Are you listening? God had already told Isaac and Rebekah that Jacob would be the one to whom the blessing would come. Right. That should have been enough. Right. Mm -hmm. But people are not normal, are normally not happy with what God says about something first. Right. Right. Well, let me tell you something. You can say, well, I know what the Bible says, but I'm going to do what I want to do. You're going to make a mess out of it. Right. 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 Please listen. Good. Now, well, we will, I'll just tell you, uh, Genesis 25, 19 through 28, God had already uh, said that Jacob would be the one to be blessed. But we have uh, the conspiracy of Isaac. Let, let me stop here a moment. Uh, Joe, I, I'm learning that you, you need to explain certain words because everybody don't know what conspiracy means. 
Now, Brother Pettit, you and Wes are there smart, but uh, when I first saw the word, I didn't know what it was. So I had to learn what it was, then learn a meaning that the first graders could understand. See that? Now, the word conspiracy means an unlawful act. That's what it means. In other words, you're doing something wrong. That's what conspiracy means. Well, we have the conspiracy by Isaac. Now, Isaac, listen here. Now, he's old. And he knew that God had said that Jacob would be the one to be blessed. Well, we see his conspiracy. He called his favorite son. He called his favorite son Esau. Right? Favorite son. You parents, you got some favorite children. Amen. Out of all your children, you got some. And you, if you're not careful, you'll show favoritism. And what's going to happen is when you start showing favoritism, you're going to have some fighting going on. Yes, sir. Some sin going on. Now, everything would have been fine if the parents of these two boys had just listened to what God said. We won't do that, will it? Why we won't do that? Well, I feel like I won't. So he asked Esau, he said, I tell you what you do since you're honored. I'm paraphrasing. I want you to go out and kill me some deer meat, Vincent, and, and listen, cook it for me. That I like because I'm old, I'm getting ready to die, and I want a real good meal there. You hear me? That's one through four. And they have the counter conspiracy by Rebecca. Now, who is Rebecca? She's Isaac's wife. Now, now watch this lady now. She heard him, she spied, she heard him talking to him. And she said, I don't want him to have it. I want my little boy to have it. I want my baby to have it. And what she did, this is chapter 5 through 17, what she did, she called her boy Jacob. Now God has already said that he's the one to be blessed. But neither one of these parents here didn't have good sense. They wouldn't listen to God. And can you listen? Will you listen to me? When you don't listen to God, you don't have good sense. You think you do. The Bible says something and you're going to do it your way. Listen, see, now, had they just went on and did what God said do, uh, Esau would never want to kill his brother. You know, a lot of times parents do things and turn the kids against one another, Brother Dina, for years. Right. Because some parents are silly and sinful. All right? Well, guess what his mother said? Rebecca said, I'll tell you what you do. I heard your daddy, and he done got old now. He can't see very well. I heard him tell your brother to go out and kill some vegetables. Well, I'll tell you what you do. While he's gone, listen, you go kill two kid goats. Go ahead and kill them. Kill them. Quickly there. Right? And I'm going to fix it for your daddy. Because he know he's old and blind. He don't know the difference. And wait a minute. Wait, wait just a minute. I'm going to make these points here. Just because a man is old don't mean he ain't got no sense. Right. <laughs> right. And, amen. Let me throw this in here, James. The older people used to say, every shut eye ain't sleep and every goodbye ain't gone. <laughs> is that right? Is that right? So you be careful now. Amen. Well, he went out and did it. And the boy started talking to his mother and mama. Listen, a daddy going to know who I am. Son, son, let me fix it. You see, a woman that's crooked, they can fix stuff. <laughs> Boy, they can fix it, man. So, well, listen here. My brother is a hairy guy, and I'm smooth. Boy, just shut your mouth. And do what I tell you to do. You know, a lot of men are in trouble with their wives 
and everything because they listen to their mama. Right. 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 They listen to their mama. Mama tell them some crazy stuff. You let me handle it. Let the curse be on me, she said. And and uh, so what happened is, fix the food and all, uh, she took the skin from the lamb and put it on his arms, both his arms around his neck. Look at that. Who would have thought of that? You know, crooked people can crank up some. You know, these folks that's in jail, Brother Dina, them guys, they crooked. They smart. Smart people always end up in jail. You that smart? Amen. Well, anyway, so she did it. And he went to it and pretended that he was Esau. Look, 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 look what we have here now. Which one of them you think is straight? So far, listen, all three of them are crooked. You know, it's bad when everybody in the family is messed up. Isn't it? Is anybody straight? In a church, you know, in a church, do we have anybody in the church of Christ that's really straight? Are you straight? Are you crooked? Now, look, look at this. So, he did that. Did exactly what his mother told him to do. You know, wouldn't it be nice, Mike, if kids would do exactly uh, what God say do like they do to parents sometimes? Oh, I'm hurting. This is hurting evil. You know, a lot of, lot of men are not married today because they've been listening to their mom. Don't marry, that, don't marry that girl. I don't like her. It's something about her. I don't like her. Sometimes he'll let a good woman get by his do it mama. He can't marry his mama. All right, I, I, I throw that in there. Mama. But then again, I don't know. These guys are funny now. They may end up marrying their mama. I don't know. Hey, Amen. Well, we're we going to see, uh, see the conspiracy of Rebecca there. Your daddy won't know the difference. Then verse 18 and following, what we have is the con by Jacob. What's a con? A crook. A liar, a thief, supplanter. He lived up to his name. And then the confusion by Isaac, the daddy. See, the mama lied and had the son to follow her. And look what he did. She put some wool on his arm and on his neck, and he's here old and blind in KC. Instead of him going by sound, right. he went by feeling. Faith always comes by hearing, not feeling. Amen. <laughs> hey, Rico, you got it? Rico, Rico, I got it. Feel, oh, I feel. Huh, that's pretty good. Now, we're going to look at the con. Of Jacob and also the confusion by Isaac because he's confused now. And then we see the cry of Esau. And when he find out when he got back, man, he started crying. Boy, my brother done tricked me again. And then the conclusion caused by sin. What was the conclusion? Isaac wanted to kill, I mean, Esau wanted to kill his brother. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All these blessings are physical. That's what we want to kill people about. Right. It's physical stuff. Right. You watch it. The next time you get mad at somebody, see if you get mad at them for praying. <laughs> they don't get mad for praying necessarily. Oh, no. And none of that. See if they get mad if you're reading the Bible. No. Mm -mm. Teaching the Bible, no, they ain't mad at that. But you start throwing some physical stuff in, man, throw a pocketbook in there. Them name brands. And all the cars and houses and stuff, lipstick and makeup and cell phones and all, you throw that stuff in, now you got a mess on your hand. Now, you know, people fight over food. I'm preaching now. I'm going to be out here in 30 minutes, man. Yeah, Brother Shannon a little tired in there. They worked him 
Pretty good up there. Is that pretty good? Food, you know, food, you know, food. I was up there and people were fighting over food. Members of the Church of Christ fighting over food. Fighting over turnip greens and green beans and fried chicken. <laughs> Boy, you can't, you can't even have fellowship. Boy, they, I'm, I'm preaching now. And see, put, have food out there. And guess what? They turn on each other for chicken leg. Right. Cook, talk about them bad, boy. <laughs> Amen. This is a good time to say this. <coughs> Amen. Can't have a family reunion. Somebody want to bring the cups and plates, and you, you bring all the barbecue ribs and all that. I bring the plastic forks and so forth. And the one that brought the plastic fork, they, they have the key. They teach the kids how to steal. They said, now, while we got them over here talking to them, y'all run down and get them ribs and take them to the car. <laughs> and then when they run low, one old sister said back, yeah, we got some more. All you got to do is raise the hood, the trunk of his car. His daughter's been putting them in there. <laughs> now, you, now you're fighting. Amen. Fighting over food. Yes, do, do we ever get enough food? <clears throat> do we ever get enough food? I had to throw that in there. Well, let, 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 now let's go and look at our main text here. Now, I think you pretty well see it now. I think you see that now. We're going to look at Jacob. Now, brethren, it's so much in this lesson. Let, let me show you something. How in the world is God going to use Jacob to bring in Christ? He crooked. Well, then this is the thing over here. It wasn't nobody perfect. No, no man perfect. Abraham had some problems. Isaac, he had some problems. Jacob had some problems. All the way on down there, Christ didn't have any problems. Uh, uh, you know, our God did that. He worked it out, didn't he? Well, let's look at uh, point number one, uh, 18 to 20, the fib of Jacob. What in the world is a fib? Amen. Hey, we're good. I may have a piece over here. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We good. We got it. I got it. Fib. See, that's what we were told, Sister Waters, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you couldn't say lie. You ain't old, you ain't old enough to say lie. What you, what you, how old are you? I'm 10. He lying. Oh, no, you're going to get smacked down. Oh, no, no. You either telling the story. Uh, he's fibbing. No, 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 no. You ain't old enough. How old are you? I'm 10. You say he's a what? Oh, he's lying, Dad. Oh, yeah? No, 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 no. But a fib is a L-I-E. Is that right? And kids weren't allowed to say that. So I put this word up here, fib, of Jacob. He fib. Watch it. And it came to pass, uh, and he came unto his father. That's Jacob going to Isaac. Got it? And said, my father. And he said, here am I. Who art thou, my son? See that? You know when you get old, you don't even know your children. Hey, man, there's some folks up there. And, what and I said, how, how old is your kid? Man, I don't know. I got to figure it up. You done got old now. Can we know where your kids were born? Right? Do you know your children? Right. How well do you know your children? You think you know them. Right. You think you know your children. Right. Then watch this here. Now watch Jacob. Jacob feel about something. Watch what he feel about. Look. Number one person he was. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau. Don't even be too hard on Jacob for saying he's Esau. Because we got a lot of people in the church, even in Memphis, they lie about pretending that they're something that they're not. Right. You pretend in the way you dress and act as if you are rich as Rockefeller. You can't even pay your light bill. Right. <laughs> Is that all right, Rico? Right? Out here stepping high and real sharp and everything. And everything you got on, you done wore, got a new outfit. And guess what? Then 
then, uh, then, 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 then Saturday, you take back and tell them, tell them, a, tell them a, a lie. This stuff won't. This stuff ain't fit me right. And I wore it and showed out. Now you're taking it back, right. and you want your money back. And when they don't get your money back, you're gonna clown. You're gonna show out. Say amen. You know I'm right about it. Let's get in this. Turn the place out. Amen. Child, take it back. Child, I'm taking it back. I ain't paying that much for them shoes. They ain't want that much. This dress. Position. He held. Hear what he said. I am Esau, the firstborn. Now, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. How, how many lies has he told so far? He said, I'm, I'm, I'm Esau. Then he said, I'm the firstborn one. Boy, that's good. A double lie, isn't it? All right, let's see him lie again. Right here. Uh, performing, he did. He said, I have done according to as thou biddest me. <coughs> what did I say? Three times. Let's stop him. And this is, I think it's about 1130 now. Since you got up this morning, have you told one lie? Have you told one lie since you got up this morning? Now, we got a few more hours before you go to bed. They're <laughs> pretty good in there. All right. What? Watch this here. What is that, Fox? Provisions he had. The provision had. He, he, watch this here. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my vince. What you say? <laughs> For that thy soul may be may bless me. And Isaac said unto him, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? How in the world did you do that that quick? Somebody lied. Providence he experienced. Watch him lie again. And he said, Because the Lord died on God. The Lord, thy God brought it to me. Now wait a minute. I lied on the Lord. All right, let's go a little. Point number two, the falsehood of Jacob. Feelings. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may. What? Feel. What? Feel. Feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. You come on up here. Let me feel you. Blind as a goose. Could hear good. Could hear good. But he want to go on feeling. People always want to go on feeling. They mess you up. All right. Okay, we're going to make some application in a minute. Is that pretty good? Uh, and Jacob uh, went near unto Isaac, his father, and he fell in and said, Watch it now. Watch the facts. The voice of Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He's feeling that. You know what happened? He said, wait a minute, something not quite right. I smell a rat. I smell something, 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 something wrong. This, this, you know, when he got this stuff this quick, then brought it back here. Now watch the sin now. You remember me blind? Can't hardly see, brother. Well, let's go a little fact here. So we see the facts. What is this? Fallacy. Fallacy. Watch this. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy as his brother's Esau hand, so he blessed him. Feelings. 
No effects. What did you say, Brother Sanders? Let's go here. Buying a house or a car. Why do you buy one? The way they look, man, that's sharp. They get all excited. Sharp. You know these folks selling these used cars, they really know how to get some people. They'll have it shining. Shining like new money. And make sure the radio is working. <laughs> Again, if the radio ain't working, it can have a it can have a brand new motor and transmission. If the radio ain't working, I don't want it. <laughs> Cause you want something to make you feel good. Man, when I'm at the light, man, I'm looking good and the music is jamming. Boy, I'm getting down. Boom. But if you ain't got no radio, ain't nobody watching. Can't see you. Can't hear you. Feelings. Am I preaching? See, you make sure that you 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 put them 32 inch wheels on there. Look at all them wheels and tires. It work more than the car. Got the wheels just good looking. They look good and smoking. Car smoking. Transmission slipping, looking good. All because of when you go by feelings, you're going to lose. Hey Amen. These car sales on the new cars here. I bought a lot of them, Michael. Buy the new cars. They, they try to say, look here. Let me tell you what this got to snarl. Let me tell you something. You go talk to them young folk back there. I'm too old for that. Man, I don't want to know about what all the thing has got. It's a new car, man. Right. It comes with a warranty. Right. I don't need to know about the buttons and the whistle. I want to get the price right. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to help these young people. Stop going in this. Oh, man, I got to have it. Don't do that. Right. Because they see you come and say, man, we're going to suck it to her. Because <laughs> yeah. she feels like she won't. Go in there talking business. Let's get some facts about this car. How much? How much? What, let's see the best price we can do. Don't be listening here. I go, used to go by a car, take my wife with me. I said, whatever you do, you just sit there and act like you're mute. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Let me do the talking. Because they find, they, they work on them women because they know they go on feelings. And you see, well, do your wife like it? No, she don't like it. <laughs> hey, man, somebody. Work on feelings. They, they, they want to get you. That's the way the devil works. He wants you to go on feelings. Uh-uh, let's go some facts. A lot of times women get all emotion and all men. So let's, let's settle this thing down a little bit here. Now we're going too fast. Just sign right here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me take it home. I'll take it home and drive it. Just go on drive it. Let me drive it. And let me smell the newness in it. Look here. Sometimes you keep stuff two or three days or a day or so, you get to looking at it and dreaming on it, you may take it back and say, no, I don't want it. Yeah. See, because you don't looked at the facts. Right. Amen. 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 Buying a house, how good it looks. I'm going to buy a house. Oh, it, it's a used house, but let me tell you something. It's a good looking house. Have you checked for termites? Right, man. Are you buying it as is? Amen. Let me throw this in. Brother Jones, car salesman used to tell young folks that you get this car like you get your wife. He said, what is that? For better or for worse. <laughs> Amen. You need to listen. Well, when you get ready to buy a house or a car, how do you do it? Wait a minute. Going to college. What, how do you pick a college? Right. Well, that's what everybody's saying. I feel Stop feeling and go on facts. Members of the Church of Christ, stop doing stuff on emotionalism. Start checking out the facts. A lot of people pick churches like that. So child, that church make me feel good. It make you feel good, but hit it right to hell. In something not even in the Bible. Oh, I feel good about this. Thing. That preacher make me feel good. You better start reading the Bible. Hey, Amen. You want to feel that good? Wait a minute. Listen, go get you a good hamburger or steak or some barbecue. Yep. That'll make you feel good too. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Pretty good? Right. Wait a minute. When you're dating and married, y'all really need to listen to this. Yes, sir. <laughs> All the young people need to help you. Fox, I can't help you. 
Joe, I can't help you. Brother North League, if you ain't got it by now. You see. No. Isn't that pretty good? The dating. Man, she, she looks so good. Man, she, he just so good. The dating. Look here. Don't you know when they dating, they put their best everything on. That's right. Listen here. That woman put the best perfume in the world on to trap you. She listen here. She'll get up and put that wig on. I had all that false hair in her head. And listen, and you go to go home and have a dream, not about the woman, about the hair she got on. That she bought. That pretty good. Right? And man, the perfume smells so good. Well, man, listen, if you really knew what was behind it, you would go buy you some hair and perfume and put it over your bed. And you could look at it. Because it's going to come off anyway. Once you marry them, that hair is going to come off. And the only time they put that sweet smelling stuff on is when they leave home to try to impress somebody else. They don't put it in for you. They got you. Now they got it. Put it on to catch somebody else. Man on the job. My boss want to fraud against the boss. Then. And he don't want to. He'll lay with her for a few hours. That's it. He don't want to take care of her. And they pick the wigs and stuff off. And let me tell you something. You'd be surprised how they look. They come here on Sunday morning dressed up. Boy, if you could see them in the morning before they put that stuff on, man, you'll say, woo, woo. Amen. All right. Selecting a mate. That man. Look at that man. I, listen, our men do the same thing. They'll put the best cologne on and some, what does he got on? Sometimes women or something, they'll follow the man around in the store. Just follow, act like they ain't paying no attention. And look here, they're smelling. Follow <laughs> Then they say, sir, I'm not trying to flirt with you, but what is that you got on? Amen. Feelings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Found fabrication. Watch him. And he said, Art thou my very own uh, son Esau? And he said, I am. Yes, sir. Look how many times he lied. Yes, sir. Look at how many times he lied. Let me, let me now watch this now. What is the difference when you know a man lying to you and when you don't know? Wait a minute. See, people can lie to you, but you don't have to believe that. So if he had been smart, he would have checked him out. Can I help you out today? If you don't get anything else, stop taking folks' mouth and what they say. Do your own research. Do your own research. Has he been married? He say he ain't. They say he ain't. He ain't been nowhere but Shelby County. If he been married, they got a record on him. Right. Go down there and check him out because they'll lie to you. Yes, sir. They'll lie to you. Yes, then, then when they get mad, it all come out. Yeah, I know I told you, I mean, but you ain't my first husband. Well, what? When did all this come up? Right. See what happened when you get mad? Yes, sir. Amen. Let me do this here. I'm going to throw this in here for these young couples here. You dating a guy and serious with him. You really serious with it now. A lot of them can wait. A lot of them don't want to go to bed with you right away. I thought I'm throwing you a curve now. Right. See, usually they go out first or second date or something, and once he buy you a dinner and buy you a dress, he think he owns you. Yeah. So he, wanted, he wants you to take your shoes and socks and clothes off <laughs> in the house with him. Yeah, that's a mild way of putting it in. See, he, he's, he's licking all the heat. They in here now. There's one of here. And a lot of these girls here, a lot of these girls here, they just don't care. They just take everything off. <laughs> and once he see you, get what he want, he's really through with you. Right. He'll, he'll lie to you just for uh, when he in desperate need can't get nobody else. But he really don't want you. Because right. he done saw you. Watch it. You know, well, I don't, she all right, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't marry her. One of them, huh? 
I'm helping. You think I'm not preaching, but I'm preaching. <laughs> I used to date. A, I used to have a friend. They were dating this girl, and they would come over to the house, Booker T, all the time. They would come over. He, and this girl said, "Man, why don't you marry that girl? She was good looking. She wasn't married. He wasn't married." I said, man, why don't you marry that girl? He said, John, I'm going to tell you something. And you'll never ask me this no more. You can't take a billy goat and make a race horse out of it. I said, what? I said, he said, you can't take a billy goat and make a race horse out of it. Did he marry? He never did marry. I said, why you say that? He said, man, I know this girl. She ain't no good. Good for a good time. But I don't want her. I don't want her hanging around for forty years. Now I said, "Now you need to tell her." He told her that, and I said, "You need to stop dating the girl. You don't want her." Now see, he won't say that when he's around her. He just say it around the other guys. I tell you what you do. I'm helping somebody. These get a tape recorder and let them tape what they say about you. You'll be surprised. What your boyfriend is saying about you. And what your girlfriend is saying about you. You'd be surprised. Then sometimes you say, you know, I'm so glad. Yeah, baby, I love you. Why are you talking? Just hit that play. And just scare him to death. I'm helping somebody out here. Amen. Amen. That pretty good? When you're talking about getting a mate, watch this here. Select your mate. Facts about your mate. Facts about their faith. What kind of, what is it, is he, look, does he go to church? Yep. Is he a member of the church? Yep. Is he faithful? Well, he come every once in a while, leave him alone, leave him alone. What about his family? I ain't married in his family. That's the mistake that people make. They don't know when you marry into a family, that's your family. If you're drunk and prostitutes and pimps and you got to deal with all that. Right. All right. And see where it is now? I would say, Joe, just move out of town, but they got these FaceTime phone and iPhone, smartphone. You can hear more garbage away from home you can't hit on. Right. Amen. Right. right? What about the finances? What Do they have any money? Does he have any money? Does she have any money? How many credit card bills does she have? Look at the well. He, we cool. You know, he say he love me. Say nothing. You better start examining. Amen. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Amen. That's right. Yeah, does he owe any money out? Find out if he's honest or not. Find out if she's honest. What kind of faith? Is he faithful? Is he a member of the church? No. Better watch him. Better watch him. Is she a member of the church? No. You're dating her? You better watch him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Somebody said, well, I can change. I feel, look, I feel like he loves me, and I feel like I got him hooked, and I feel like I can change him. And you just feel it. You're feeling a lot. Listen. And you see, you won't really know how they are until a little time run by. That's why I recommend long courtship. Why? So you can investigate. And then after you get married to them, guess what? You're going to find out some stuff that you still didn't know. But most of the time, we messed up right here with the basic stuff. How many children you got? Well, he say he ain't got none. Oh, yeah. Yep. Amen. Amen. Feelings. Being religiously right. How do you know if you're right religiously? Do you go by facts or faith? How do you know you're all right with God? Do you say, well, I feel like I'm all right with God. The Lord know my heart. That ain't what I ask you. I know the Lord know your heart. 
I know that. But are you right with God? I feel like I'm all right. Well, are you a faithful member of the Church of Christ? Well, I feel like I am. You know, everybody ain't perfect. Oh, see how they threw that in there? Yeah. That's enough over there. Come back. Isn't that pretty good? Hey, man. Food for, of Jacob. Favor right. And he said, bring it near to me and I will eat of my son's venison that my soul may be may bless thee and he brought it near to him and he did eat and he brought him wine and he drank right what is this fox figuring figuring wait a minute boy start figuring maybe too late and his father and his father Isaac said unto him come near now and kiss me my son and he came near and kissed him. Mm -hmm. Be very careful about people kissing you. Sometimes it's a kiss of death. Sometimes it's a kiss to trap you. Sometimes, like Judas. Judas, yeah, well, he, he kissed the Lord, right? Jesus told him, what thou do, or do it quickly. Right. Yep. See, but we ain't, you, you got to be, listen. Check them out. Check everybody out. Amen. Amen. And he came near and kissed him. What is this? Brother Fox, can you see that? Fragrant. Fragrant. What is smell? Smell. All right. And he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See. The smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Mm. Be careful about I, it smells like it's all right. <laughs> well, I, she, she smells so good, she got to be straight. Right? He smells up. Faith come by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. You check people out. You got it? Ask some questions. Ask some questions. Amen. All right. Future of Jacob. Fortune. Then therefore God gave uh, thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the uh, earth and plenty of corn and wine. Right? What is that fox? Fantastic. Fantastic. Let, let the people serve thee and nations bow down to thee for, uh, before the Lord over the, thy brethren and let thy mother's son bow down uh, to thee. Curse everyone that curses thee and bless be he that blesses thee. Let's conclude this. We went over this. Are you faithful? When you deal with religion, do you deal with faith and facts or you deal with feelings? Let me show you something. Forgiveness of sin doesn't take place within you. Wait a minute. People, when they say, I feel... They're talking about inner consciousness. That's what they think, feel. Forgiveness of sin doesn't take place in man. Right. Forgiveness of sin is an executive act. Mm -hmm. It takes place with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is the one who forgives sin. Yes, sir. And the only way you can know that you're forgiven is not by what you feel, but what faith and fact says. Right. You as a person, are you all right with God? Man, I feel like I'm good with God. Well, why do you feel like that? Man, I don't drink, I don't steal, I don't beat my wife, I work, I'm, I, I pay my taxes. I'm just a good person. Can I tell you something? If you see in one time in your life, you could never make yourself right in the sight of God without him 
without doing what God say do. Right, right, right. One, all of sin fall short. You can't work your way to heaven. Right. No. Nothing you can do. Christ Jesus died on the cross that man could have a right to real life. Got it? Now, not the way you feel. Well, I feel like I, I prayed to God and I feel like he answered my prayer. How do you know God answered your prayer? How do you know? Well, I feel like it. I feel like I'm all right. You know, feelings can really mess people up. Right. Is that right? Let me tell you something, good people. Anything that's important, don't do it by feelings. Right. Let me give you an example. Here's old James Rowan. Now, he looked like a pretty good fella. And here you are going to give him $5,000 and say, oh, he's a he, he pretty good fella there. He's a member of church. Uh, uh, James, I want you to go pay this note for me. Oh, yeah, Brother Shannon. Here's the cash money. He, oh, I, James won't lie to you. Then, James, did you pay that note? Yeah, I paid it. All right. Then you come back said, said, uh, Honey, did you pay? Oh, yeah, James, James paid for it. Well, how do you know? Well, I just feel like he paid it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't you think it would be wise if he said he paid it? Where's the receipt? Where's the receipt? We don't want to get no receipt. Feel it. Right? Listen now. Listen. Police stop you. Where's your drive license? Oh, I, I, I feel like I got driver's license. You got insurance? I feel like I got insurance. Show me. Well, you think I'm lying to you? No. Show me. Amen. See the mistake Jacob made? Isaac made? He went on his feelings instead of facts. But the point I'm trying to get you to see in this lesson, anything you do in life, get the facts and operate through facts. When it's come to religion, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If you want to be saved, you don't go by the way you feel. Have you obeyed the gospel? Do you believe Jesus Christ died and was buried, rose again the third day, that he built and bought one church? Do you believe that? Yes, I do. Are you willing to repent of your sins? Well, do you know what repentance is? Don't feel like you know. Repentance is not confessing sin. Well, what is repentance? Repentance is a change of heart or mind about sin and stop it. Right. You got to change your mind. You got to change your mind, getting ready to change your lifestyle. Then will you confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Yes. Then are you willing to be baptized in water for the remission of sin? Well, I feel like I'm already saved. Well, you need some more teaching. Right. You need some more teaching. Faith, repentance, repentance, confession, baptism into Christ for the mission of sin. Now watch this now. I just told the whole world right then what to do to be saved. Right. Now, if you don't want to do that, you'll never do it. Right. Don't do something because somebody's pushing you. Right. Because it's not going to last. Amen. Same goal. And listen, talking about dating and marrying somebody. Don't marry somebody on feelings. Right. I know when you're young, your emotions are high, everything are high. But let me tell you something. When you get married five or ten years, all that sh lovey dovey stuff, all that's going to cease. Right. All that's going to slow down. I've got one show wheel. They just say show wheel. That's right. They don't look good to you after you've been married 10 or 15, 20 years. They don't look good to you no more. No. Somebody said, no, no. Because things change. I tell you what you do, go buy your new car, brand new car, any kind you want, and keep it, wax it and everything, you know, and then uh, let 15 years pass. That what? You won't have tires on it. You don't care nothing about it. Wait a minute. But if that's your only transportation, you'll keep it up. And a lot of men don't learn, know that, and well, the women don't know that. You just can't trade wide like you do cars. A lot of men like to do that. Right. I'm sick of her. I'm going to get somebody else. Jesus don't, Jesus don't, listen, Jesus said, accept it be for fornication and marry another committed adultery. You just can't switch wives right. and husbands just because you want to. You may do it, but you ain't going to heaven. Right. Are you willing to repent of your sins? Oh, this has been good. It's time to quit resting.
be baptized into Christ for the mission of sin? Will you live faithful for the Lord? Are you, will you be converted to the Lord Jesus Christ? All things are ready. All things are ready. If you hear and you want to obey the gospel, faith, repentance, confession, baptism into Christ, and get a new start. You can leave here today a new creature in Christ and never, never look, change looking on the inside, outside. You want to obey the gospel? You can get up and walk down these aisles and make the confession. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We'll baptize you in water. The Lord will add you to the church of Christ. Yes, You'll be born again, have God, and enjoy that with Jesus Christ. If that's your decision, why don't you do it right now together? We stand and say. I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. May God continue to bless you richly. Yes,